today is Denny's party. I don't want to get sued by my own family. <laughs> I look like a crazy person. My dogs would not stop barking all night. Levanten la mano si tienen hambre. Sarah picked me up. Benny is so mad at me. And it's so humid, so it doesn't feel any different than New York. You should like honk and be like, excuse me, we have an emergency. Yeah. Anyways, I just arrived and it's so hot and we're gonna go eat and then go to sleep. <laughs> because it's what Thursday today? Thursday? Yeah. Today is Thursday. Thursday, yeah. My Did friend you heard of Jack in the Box. <laughs> You uh, see, Jack see. in the Box is like a. Ew, my forehead is so shiny. <laughs> Dude, it's hot. Um, Jack in the Box is like a fast food place that. It's a fast food place. Uh, that's only in the West Coast, right? Or is, there's, no, there's no Jack in the Box in um, New York. Just like there's no In and Out in the East Coast. It's like that, I think. I don't know, I'm just making stuff up. Ay, what is, okay, I have to go. Hello, I just came back from the gym and my sister here is making some cute cupcakes for her party tomorrow. I know, she wants to make her own cupcakes because she doesn't trust other people's creativity. Danny, you should start your cupcake company. The Caramelu Cheese Cupcake Company. <laughs> She hates me right now. She says she can't be in my video or else she's gonna sue me. So I don't want to get sued by my own family. So I just won't put Denny in the video until she um, signs a release form for me. <laughs> Look at these. Oh my God, my mom is so cute. She has all these like, what are these French French bulldogs? Pants? No, I think they're like, they're like Mongo. <laughs> mm. Um, you know, me, in a little bit we're gonna get ready because we're gonna. Oh, right now we're in TJ in my parents' house. We're gonna go to San Diego, do a little shopping. Maybe we're gonna go to the beach. I'm not sure yet. And then um, come back. <laughs> okay, bye. I don't know if it's just me, but I think protein shakes are the most disgusting thing in the world. <laughs> no matter what flavor I buy, I I just want to throw up. But I have to take it. It's mostly like the smell, like if I can't smell it, I just like chug it. But um, uh, I don't, like when it's with water. Mm. You see, I bought this one for my dad a while ago. I mean, it hasn't expired. It's pretty good, I like this brand ice up here. But um, he doesn't take it, so someone has to. Ah. Okay, you guys want to see something very cool that lives in the backyard of my house? Are you ready? Let me show you. Yeah, my sister has 10 chihuahuas. Reggie. Um, I will mention the names Reggie. as Again. soon as I remember them. Reggie. So remember Cookie in one of my videos? <gasps> She's better. This is Cookie. This. Oh my god, they're fighting for attention. Who's this one? Nutella? This is Nutella. This one? Mate. Matt. Mate. Matt. The three brownies. Petu Petunia. Petunia. Griselda. This one? Sí. Griselda. Grisi. <laughs> and that one? Blanca. Blanca? Blanquita. Blanquita. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Caramelo. She's like the queen of the house. Hello, your majesty. Oh, she has a manicure. That's usual of her. This is Regina. She's like the mother of the mother. She's had kids how many times? Three times. This is sushi. Doesn't he look like a nice sushi roll? Hi! So we're on our way to the movies, but we did a quick stop at this place called Atados Flores de Corte, which is in La Colonia Cacho and TJ. They gave me this little card and this beautiful bouquet. Show them, Denny. 
look at these roses. I've never seen these roses ever. I think they're my new favorite, guys. I'm sorry, but I quit peonies, and these are called Juliet roses. And when they open more, oh my, I hope they open. Yeah, I think they should open by like two days, right? Like in two days. And I, I'll be able to show you guys how pretty they are. Like they make all these flower arrangements in the cutest little cart in the corner. So cute, patootie. So now we're, um, well, I'm driving us to the movies. We're going to um, Plaza Rio, which is like the main um, mall, I guess you can call it, the main mall here in TJ. There's two main malls. Um, and we're gonna go watch Christopher Robin, or what is it called? The Winnie the Pooh movie. Hopefully there's still tickets. We're going to the United. <laughs> Hopefully we're going to get tickets because it is Friday. And it is something that a lot of Mexican people like to do on a Friday. They like to go to the movies. So, yeah, this is a roundabout, guys. I don't know who invented these. Probably um, Spanish people who came over here. <laughs> but there's no point of them because everyone's crashing here. So you have to be careful. And so, yeah, hopefully we get movie tickets. We're going to go to the VIP cinemas. Uh, you see in the U.S. Last time I checked, there was not there was not something like that, and now actually the Cinepolis is now in. I've seen it at least in Southern California. They have some in San Diego, where you can go and experience the same thing as here in TJ. But it's actually from Mexico. It's pretty cool. So you have like waiters that bring your food to your um, to your seat. You you can eat like sushi and like other stuff that's not like just like you know popcorn and um can you drink in the mexican yeah they can bring you alcoholic drinks if you're obviously over the age of 18 because in mexico it's 18 uh in the u.s is 21 so if you're between 18 and 20 <laughs> you can come here and uh it's pretty cool there's like a casino there's like shops there's a very secure parking lot where you can leave your car and like you just get a little ticket and your car will be safe uh, for the most part. <laughs> I can't guarantee it, <laughs> but I, I, it's, nothing has ever happened to my car or anything here. So for those of you who are like worried about the safety of your car and stuff like that, you can leave it here and it will be perfectly fine. I would suggest that you bring pesos because I guess your dollar is uh, will give you more. But if you, you can pay in dollars mostly everywhere and it's like very centric it's literally like what 10 minutes from the when you cross it's like 10 minutes from the border cross so we're gonna go eat first because i'm starving and i am hungry so wait no we're gonna get the tickets first because <laughs> maybe they're gonna run out um the tickets and we're gonna eat and then we're gonna eat again in the movie theater <laughs> all right bye Danny the cutest thing. Danny! Today is Danny's party and we are in Tijuana trying to cross the border. This is the border we're crossing into San Diego. And um, this is a century lane which is why it's going faster. So if you don't have century, I'm sorry. <laughs> you either have to line up over there or line up in the really, really long line over there. But uh, we've been here for like probably what, 30 minutes? No, like 30 minutes. We're almost about to cross. Like, I think there's like five more minutes. And then we have to drive all the way to like Escondido. <laughs> so that's like one more hour. <laughs> well, we, when I say we, I mean me because she's not driving at all. So, all right, I'm hungry and I'm thirsty. So, peace out. Hello, people. So I came to visit the Carlsbad outlets today. And they're super cool and it's super hot so we got a ginormous um, what is this called? it's like a Hawaiian shaped ice super good for this super hot day so we're gonna go check out all the stores I'm here with my sisters and her children so this is my older sister she never comes out so <laughs> this is documented for the first time because you know her kids she has a whole preschool right here. And this is my other sister, Danny. And we're gonna go do fun stuff. 
and make sure the kids have fun <laughs> and don't cry while I try to do some shopping. So let's start, you guys. Where do you want to go first? So we are done shopping for the day. Um, we're so tired. We're gonna go eat. My nephews are literally eating the the cart or what is this? What is this? The stroller. <laughs> They're eating the stroller. They're that hungry. Levanten la mano si tienen hambre. <laughs> so we're gonna go eat something here at the Carlsbad outlet. What are you doing, Ralph? Decorating your cart. Wow. What a cool place. I've been to a Ruby Diner in Palm Springs, but it was not as cool as the first time. Especially because the kids get all the cool stuff. Right? <laughs> right? Benny the car builder. Good morning. Oh my god, I literally look like a wet dog. <laughs> My dogs would not stop barking all night and I didn't get enough sleep. So I sort of hate my sister right now. She's not even up yet. Of course she can sleep in, but I have a photo shoot and I kind of have to look like I rested. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> ah! So I just finished shooting in Tijuana with Lily Marine and Jared and Elvia Felix. She did um, makeup. Uh, it was amazing. I'm so excited for these pictures. Once again, it's so hot. And I'm wearing a pretty intense makeup. So uh, thank God I brought sunglasses and I forgot a makeup remover. So I can't take it off. I just have to run to the car and go home and wash it off right away before I get pimples in this heat. Do you guys want to see? Pretty intense, I know. But the pictures are gonna look amazing. So my parents brought me to eat seafood that I've been craving because I feel like the seafood in New York is not the same. And look at the view here. We're eating right in front of the ocean. This place is called Popotla. It's like 30 minutes from the border and they have all kinds of food that I'm about to eat. Hi everybody, so I'm back in New York. Um, I was so jet lagged, I took a nap and I woke up at 4.30 p.m. <laughs> I just worked out, I'm actually in Sag Harbor. I just like went for a run and I was working out outside. It's so pretty outside. I think I'm gonna put, I'm about to put my bathing suit on to go jump in the water before the sun sets. But I'm happy to be back. Although my family was kind of sad. <laughs> I was only out there for a week. But um, it was nice. But it also feels nice to be back. Good morning. So I woke up super duper early today. I don't know why. <laughs> and um, I just wanted to show you guys. Um, this cool mask that I'm gonna sorry for the mess in the back <laughs> wanted to show you guys this cool mask that I just got from Sephora Dr. Brent Oxygen Facial Flash Recovery Mask so you know after flying and all that good stuff traveling um obviously your skin gets a little crazy I use my Avene cleanser that I've been using for years. <laughs> so after you cleanse your face, you put on a thin layer of the mask. It says do not rub it, so don't. This mask is seriously like alive. You'll see why in a second. So you leave it on for three five minutes and it has a life of its own I swear so 
So yeah, you end up looking like Santa Claus in a way. <laughs> Do you see it? It literally like starts to tingle and like foam. Oh, I messed it up here. Um, but you can see like little bubbles start. And then we'll, we'll wait five minutes. <laughs> so after three to five minutes, I waited five. <laughs> I look like a crazy person. Um, the bubbles start to like slowly pop. So you'll end up kind of like this. <laughs> so you wash it off. So, mm, pretty. Mm. So you follow up with your um, normal uh, face creams. I uh, use rose water as a toner. So, tone up. Caffeine eye cream, especially. <laughs> Since I have really dark circles right now because I didn't. Why well, I woke up so early? I didn't sleep. I don't know. Couldn't sleep. So put that in there. And then my favorite, <laughs> my turmeric, blueberry. No, they don't sponsor me. I wish. Um, put little drops. Oh, I discovered this serum at the Rock Spa in San Diego at the Hard Rock, and I bought it at the at the spa after getting a facial. And then I couldn't find it anymore until I moved to New York. <laughs> I found it at a Dwayne Reed. They sell it there apparently, and um, so I got it again. So I've been trying these Estee Lauder cream that they gifted me for um anti-aging yes after uh well i guess i've heard that after you turn 25 you need to start um wearing anti-aging creams apparently <laughs> so um i'm just listening to my um dermatologist <laughs> esthetician one of our skincare people that know what they're doing and then, um, you see, I was in the Dr. Brandt aisle, so I just tried, I bought all these, like, same brand things the other day. The lady was pretty convincing that they worked. So this is to put over your eye cream. She, um, it's an eye depuffing gel. And you put it over and wait, like, five minutes. And it's supposed to do miracles. <laughs> so I've been trying it for, like, a week or week and a half, I don't know, two weeks. And I mean, I don't know. I have, I don't know. I have to like pay more attention if it dramatically like improves my dark circles, but I don't know. <laughs> and then at last I finish off with my Aveen um, sun protector. It's this one's. 50 plus and it's tinted as you can see so um supposedly this is like made for like skin colors like mine because i remember one time i gave it to my friend and she's super super like snow white <laughs> it looked tan on her so if you're like super super light there's one that's just white and it won't like tint your face or anything so that is my skin regimen for today you see i don't do a face mask in the morning like every day no i don't uh i haven't used that in like three weeks or two wait no two weeks i got it two weeks ago i've only used it once this is the second time i use it but everything else you know like washing my face with the soap the serum and the sunblock eye creams and stuff that is like my daily um thing so i don't know i just felt like Putting a face mask since I woke up so early and I have time. <laughs> Alright, bye.